What's up guys? I'm Madison Beer and you're about to watch me answer the Ask Anything chat questions that you've all been sending to iHeartRadio and Most Requested Live. Shout out by the way to Most Requested Live and Romeo. Thank you so much. You guys are incredible. Also, my new song is called Home With You. I'm glad you guys are all loving it and uh, keep requesting it as you are. And let's dive into these questions. Okay. First one. Ashley from Carbondale said, can you pronounce your full name with the proper hometown accent? Thanks. That's Long Island. I mean, when I was younger, I used to say, hey, I'm Madison Beer, which is kind of, it's not really an accent. It's more just like a kind of thing, but that's the best I got. Okay. Amy from London said, what is your favorite memory that you have creating the EP? P.S. Love and miss you a lot. I love you, Amy. You're the best. And my favorite memory that I have from creating the EP would probably have to be writing Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden was like such a fun song to write and um, I wrote it with two of my really, really good friends. So that obviously adds to being incredible. But we were just watching clips from Fight Club and we were getting the best lines and it was just super fun. It was, it was an awesome experience and I got to watch Fight Club 50 times, which is my favorite movie. Jen from Williamsport said, what high school did you go to? And do you still speak to your friends from when you were growing up? That's a great question. Um, basically, I went to school in Long Island my entire life, and then in seventh grade, eighth grade, I got pulled out and I started getting homeschooled, and I've been homeschooled ever since. Um, so I didn't ever go into a real high school. I would have went to Jericho High School, though. Shout out Jericho. I went to Jericho Middle School. Um, and then I got homeschooled, and I do still speak to my friends. I speak to some of them, not all of them, of course. They've all went to college, and they're doing very cool things, and I'm you know, it's hard to keep in touch, we're both very busy, but when I go home, I see all of them, and it's, like, nothing has changed in a time, a minute hasn't passed, so it's been, it's been great, and I love them. Brittany from Baltimore said, hi Madison, are you a dog or a cat person? I'm definitely a dog person, but I love cats forever, they're so cute, I would love a kitty right now, but, um, definitely dogs. Yasmin from Istanbul said, if you could spend the day with any celebrity, who would it be? Mm, Bo Burnham for sure. I would love to just chill out with Bo Burnham or Nathan Fielder, one of them. Becca from DMV said, do you plan on making more Heartless type songs for the album, Sexual bro Heartbroken Mads vibe? That is, yes, I, I love that. Um, I, I mean, like, I, all I want to do is make songs like that. I think it's so fun and I get to dance all sexy and feel myself a little when I'm on stage, so I love it. But, um, you know, I like to just have like little sprinkles of it and not be too oversaturated with sexiness but you'll, you could definitely look out for some more sexy Mads vibes on my album because they will be there. Maria from Mexico City said how heavy is your purse can you actually lose something by putting it in your purse fun fact my purse isn't over here my backpack that I have is this tiny right now it's literally that big it can't even fit my phone or my wallet in it um so no but usually yes but no not right now I could find anything <laughs> I could find a piece of lint in my bag Rita from Portugal said, I love you, Mads. I love you more. Chloe from Kansas City. Oh, my piano player's from Kansas City. Said, what fools, was fools originally supposed to be on the EP since it was recorded such a long time ago? It was not at all. My dad's favorite song of all time is fools. So I kind of threw it in there for him. And then I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm going to do it. But then we added parts that are very much so me right now. And they're not me when I was 16, you know, and we changed the production and made it more current. And it's just, I, it's one of my favorites now. And you guys seem to love it. So I'm so glad that I decided to put it on there. Nancy from Calgary said, do you travel with a posse yet? No, I travel with like posse, meaning a bunch of my friends, like we're throwing around thinking we're cool. Definitely not. I hope to never do that. I think it's really corny, but I travel with people on my team that I need there. But I mean, I would love to have friends with me. John from Paris said, we'll be getting a home, a music video for home with you. Love you, Mads. I love you too. And yes, you will be. It is being filmed and made. I just don't want to put anything out that's not 100% fire. So it's, it's in the works. Carolina from Portugal said, please spill some tea about your new EP. Um, wait, I think you meant to say album, but it's all good. Um, my new album, I don't really have tea yet, but it's definitely going to have, every song is going to be really, really different and super, super out of the box, and I'm really excited about it. Penny from Montreal said, if you could wake up tomorrow in the body of someone else, who would you pick? No, that's a really hard one. If I could wake up in the body of someone else, probably Rihanna, so I could see myself naked. 
just being honest. Amanda from Queens said, do you know Nick Tangora and Matthew Coma, who are also from Long Island? I don't, but shout out to them. Um, Long Island Strong family. Jenny from Milwaukee said, what cartoon do you think best fits your life? Rick and Morty, for sure. Or Adventure Time. Nicole from Philadelphia said, do you have an alter ego when you're on stage? I definitely have a stage persona. It's like a totally different person, but I revert back into my real life persona all the time. Um, there's little moments where I'll go crazy, and I just got off stage tonight, and someone, they all screamed really loud when Teenager in Love came on, and my heart stopped. I was like, that is so sweet, and I got really excited, and I started jumping up and down, and then I was like, okay, back into persona. So, yes, I have definitely two personalities. Ellie from Carlisle said, would you ever collab with Ariana Grande in the future? Oh, I love Ariana Grande. Shout out to her new song, No Tears Off to Cry. It is amazing. I've been singing it nonstop in my tour bus and everyone's like, okay, we get it. You're in a state of mind that you want to be in like all the time. Stop singing it. And it's just, it's literally my favorite song right now. I would love to. Ariana is so sweet. She's one of my good friends and I think she's so talented. Lindsay from France said, can you say Lindsay, I love you. Lindsay, I love you. Sue from Netherlands said, if they picked you for a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, what two celebs would you want to put your star in between? Great question. Um, probably, like, Kurt Cobain and Amy Winehouse. Agatha said, what about the old, unreleased songs you teased on social media? Will we ever get to hear them? Um, I don't know. I think that... I have a lot of old and released songs, like, obviously there's so many, but I, I try to tease them enough and, you know, do do what I have to do, but I don't know, I don't know, there's so many unreleased, I probably have, like, 500 unreleased songs, but I'm gonna try, the album might have some old throwbacks, like Fools, Fools came back, um, we have, wait, sorry, my phone just completely glitched, We have, wait, I think that's it. Just kidding, my phone did not glitch. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. My exclusive iHeart Ask Anything chat with Romeo and Most Requested Live. My new song is called Home With You. I hope you guys are loving it. I'll see you out soon and I love you guys. Bye.